Zach Elliott at Feel Free to Argue. How you all doing? Well, I'm not doing so well because I feel like I'm choking to death on the stupidity of the people in this fucking country. I'm talking, of course, about this whole mosque at ground zero thing. So let's talk about this mosque at ground zero. Um, first, we'll talk about like what it is and who's doing it. We'll talk about... Uh, um, attacking moderates and uh, the world implications and finally we'll talk about what freedom is. Alright, first, what is this thing? Well, it's being done by somebody, uh, by a group called uh, the Cordoba Initiative. It is actually two blocks away from Ground Zero. It is on private property that's already been purchased by these people. Um, it's an old Burlington uh, coat factory building. <coughs> Excuse me. And, among other things, I'd like to point out that when it was initially came up for approval, um, the government panel, that uh, the city panel that was determining whether it was okay to build there, voted 15 to nothing to say that it was okay. So, that is the local decision. And also, unprompted by any outside forces, a 9-11 memorial was always part of the project. And the chapel is an interfaith chapel, so anybody can go there and pray. In fact, this is very much of an interfaith initiative. Let's look at, at like, you know, the people who are doing this. The main person who is spearheading this, and the person who has drawn a lot of attention for being a radical, is a guy called Imam Faisal Abdul Rauf who is probably the least radical Muslim in America. Seriously. I mean, when we're thinking about people who are at the absolute cutting, bleeding edge of interfaith uh, outreach and um, basically the head of like moderate Muslims in America, you're talking about the person who's spearheading this initiative. Um, how, how uh, you know, safe is this guy? I mean, you've probably heard all kinds of things about how crazy and radical he is. Well, that's not what Bush thought. I mean, George Bush, um, one of his closest advisors was Karen Hughes. You know, the person who gave Florida to him and thereby the election? Well, he appointed her the Under Secretary of State for Public Diplomacy. Part of what she did in this job was to um, conduct listening tours of uh, the Middle East, and guess who she took with her? Exactly, Imam Faisal. So, this guy is one of the most vetted people, you know, as far as Muslims of the country. Um, he assisted the FBI with counterterrorism efforts after 9-11. So, this guy is totally an establishment Muslim. He's totally a moderate Muslim. Check out this quotation from him. This is from Imam Faisal. Um, to not understand the role of Islam and faith as a motivator is to be incapacitated in shaping a foreign policy that achieves the objectives of the United States. All right, so that's the radical who is like causing, you know, who's causing all the problems. And let's <clears throat> move into this whole idea of like attacking moderates. I mean, and this also kind of relates to the next point, which is like, you know, the world is watching. Right now, there is this narrative that is being fed to Muslims by lots of people in the Muslim world. And the narrative goes like this. The United States hates Muslims. They're trying to wipe Muslims off the face of the earth. It's a clash of civilizations, and they're trying to wipe us out. And when we criticize one of the most moderate, most agreeable forces within the Muslim world, we give so much strength to that narrative. I mean, if someone who is trying so hard to make it within our system um, ends up getting vilified, I mean, what chances are there for a regular Muslim just living out there in the world trying to, you know, 
be a decent human being. I mean, if, if someone like Imam Faisal can be dragged through the mud, then clearly we have a lot of contempt for everyone in the Muslim world. That we would take someone who was so important, so significant, and treat them with such disrespect. And so, what does that do? I mean, it gives the terrorists fuel to make people hate us. And we all know what the net result of that is. Every single human being who is an American is more at risk because of these attacks. Especially, by the way, our troops in Muslim nations who are trying to win hearts and minds and are going to fail because of shit like this. Stupid, retarded, bigoted shit like this. And finally, let's just talk about freedom. Because, I mean, I get the real sense that people who are attacking this mosque simply do not understand freedom. You know, freedom isn't just your freedom to do what you want. Freedom is for everyone. And the person, that person who is doing the thing that you don't like, is the guarantor of your freedom. Because them doing that means you get to do whatever cockamamie crap that you like to do that nobody else likes. It's all tied together. You can't just take away somebody's freedom without compromising the freedom of everyone. And we as Americans should know that better than anyone. I mean, why did the pilgrims come here? Let's see, was it to escape religious persecution? I think that, that's what my history book told me. And Muslims who are trying to escape religious persecution come here so that they can not live the life that they have in, in Saudi Arabia, not live the life that they had in Iran, not live the life they had in Pakistan or Indonesia. They came here to escape that because they're moderates, because they want to have a moderate existence. And we're shitting all over them. And it's going to make everybody's lives more dangerous it's going to make everybody's lives less secure. And we'll get nothing for it, except further trashing our name around the world, making everybody think that we're a bunch of stupid bigots, which I guess is what we are. But hey, this has been Zach Elliott, and you can always feel free to argue. <laughs>